Hey everyone, Jason here, aspiring entrepreneur and digital marketing consultant. And in this quick start guide to Canva, you're gonna learn how to put together a PDF inside of Canva in under five minutes. So I'm gonna rapid fire through exactly how you can do this as quickly as possible. So make sure you check out the timestamp table of contents in the description, along with some other more in-depth tutorials that go into other design elements here. I'm just going to be rapid fire going through how you can put this together as quickly as possible without, of course, sacrificing quality. So let's go ahead and jump in. And the first thing you're going to want to do is choose the magazine style layout for your PDF. And that is because the magazine style layout has the best pre-done templates for you. And so one of the things when you're putting together your first PDF, you definitely just want to find a template, throw in your own stock image. Uh, here's a quick list of free sites that you can go to find stock images from or make your own image. So in this particular example, I'm just gonna scroll through so you can see all of the different choices that you have. So I really like ones that look like this because it just gives you room for a title and then makes the stock image the kind of feature of the cover page. And that takes a lot of the design work off of you. So Rise, this one would be another good one. Backpack would be again another good one. So you don't wanna get overly design heavy. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one to save time because I've used it before. And so the first things first, you're gonna wanna go ahead and name your PDF. And so this is gonna be about YouTube ads. So I'm gonna call it the five step ad guide. And of course, it's way too big. So we'll come, we'll click on it and we'll come up here to the font settings and we'll take it down to 64. Eh, it's a little too small. Let's, uh, let's see if 72 will work. Nope, all right, 64 it is. Again, we're just gonna do this nice and quickly. So click and drag that one down a little bit to the center. Then we're gonna go ahead and give it a subheadline, easy start guide to YouTube ads. Okay, perfect. Then we're gonna go ahead and change, and go ahead and change the color to what it matches. You know, Canva allows you to store your brand color. So I'm just going to go ahead and short change this process and go with the blue. And then I'll change this one to blue as well, just for consistency. So the next step is changing out this stock image for one that's more relevant. So I have one from recent business trip. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop that in there. And what's nice about these is they include these picture layouts already. So you can go ahead and double click and then I'm gonna drag the picture over. And so it's nice and cropped correctly, just so the book is out of reach. Okay, perfect. And if you ever want to add one of these yourself, you can come up here to elements and then go to grids. And that's essentially what this is. And so you can see here, I can bring this in and I can do the exact same thing that I just did with this grid. So that's all that element is. If you're not using a template, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that grid. Okay, so I have my picture, probably wanna change these texts. So we'll jump ahead in the video so you don't have to watch me type. Boom, just like that, done. So this is of course optional. If there's extra text, definitely never feel like you have to use all of the text elements. You, I could have just as easily easily deleted these and then moved on. So let's go ahead and finish things up here. Let's say we have 12 and we're gonna call these add templates. Add, and of course it's too big again. So we'll just click on it and change the font size down to 14 or something. Nope, 14 is still too big. 12, nope, 12. And sometimes you have to do this and 10. Okay, perfect. So probably would play with that a little bit more, but we're going fast here. So there you go. Bam. There's the cover page. And that's probably more time than you even need to spend on it. Because again, whoever is interacting with this PDF, your information is definitely the most important part. So let's go ahead and now make the template for your content page. So we've got this blue box here. We're going to delete that. And for the content pages, it's best to keep it just really basic, really simple, so people can focus on the content that you have. And so this is a design that I like using a lot because it's very, very simple and it's very quick to put together and it's easy to change just using the colors. So I'm using a just a normal box element here and I'm putting it at the bottom of the page. Then I'm gonna come up here to transparency and I'm gonna move the transparency down a little bit, just about 70. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to bring another box in and I'm gonna do almost the exact same thing. So I'm gonna bring this down. I'm going to, except this time, I'm gonna put it in the center and then I'm going to bring it in a little bit 
and done. So this is what's going to the bottom of each one of our content pages is going to look like. So now we want to add the text. So obviously we need a heading. So this is going to be YouTube ads 101. All right, there's the heading. And of course you can play with the fonts a lot to get a different font that you think is a, a better fit. So why don't we just do this one? Yeah, perfect. All right, and now we need our text. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this text in. And normally what you're gonna wanna do is just make this text box the entire width of the page. So we're gonna bring it in so it's centered. Boom, and by default, the text boxes are going to be a line center. So you're gonna to want to come up here and align it to the left. And let's just go ahead and drop in some text just so we have something there. Uh, random, yeah, random text. Okay, so this is your, this is, this is pretty much your template. So the only other things you can do to really spruce this up is, you know, this kind of looks boring at the bottom. Oop, didn't bring that in all the way. So what we can do is we can actually add our website. And so this is something that you're definitely going to want to do if this is a lead magnet or you want people to take an action, mywebsite.com, and we'll go ahead and put it at the bottom here. So we'll put it at the bottom and we'll change the text color to white. You have a lot of color options. You can go and push uh, this little plus here and you can choose any color imaginable. So we're just gonna go ahead and click white. And then while we're still selecting the text box, we're gonna come up here to the top left, not left, right, <laughs> top right hand corner and click link and then type in your domain or wherever you want them to go. So if you want them to go to a landing page or a sales page or go fill out a form if you're you know, a coach or consultant, that's a great place to send people. So the only other thing is let's go ahead and drop a logo in here. I like putting a logo in the center. So this is definitely not Shopify, but it'll do for the purposes of this example. So we'll go ahead and resize the logo and put it in the center and there you go. This might actually look better if we used a circle element given the way the logo is, but that's that's it. So this is that's all there is to it to putting together a PDF inside of Canva. So the final steps that we have to do and then I'll jump into a bonus page. We'll go ahead and click download and all you have to do is click PDF standard. So PDF for print is going to be much higher quality, but it's going to be larger. And chances are most people that you're giving your PDF to aren't going to be printing this out. So you'd go ahead and click standard, and then you can go ahead and click download. And when you do download it, make sure in whatever PDF program you're using, you go through and you preview all of your links. You want to make sure that all of the links are working correctly and going to the correct page. So now a little bonus, something that I really like doing is having breaking up text with icons and graphics. So I've gone ahead and duplicated this and we'll go ahead and delete some of the text here. And what I'm gonna do is move this over a little bit. And this is really great if you don't have a lot of text <laughs> as well. And I'm gonna drop in a graphic. So I'm gonna drop in a graphic from another video we've done. So I'm gonna put that graphic right here. And now we're filling up, the, we're definitely filling up the page, but we don't have to have as much text. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a, another text box down here. And this time I'm gonna do it to the right and bring it out a little bit and then go find another, okay, we'll just find. I'm just adding random, random graphics. You can, add your, you can add your own graphics. So here we go. So here's another graphic and then put it there. So, you know, not, uh, not gonna win any design awards for sure. However, it is a nice way to break it up. It looks like the PDF is much more intentional. And if you don't have your own graphics, well, you can go ahead and use these chart elements alongside your text. So there's a lot of different options here. Or if you really, really wanna get basic and not worry about you know trying to make sure the percentages are right on the, on the chart elements is to just use icons. So we can go ahead and click this icon. We can click and drag and put it down here and bring another final piece of uh, text, click and drag down here. So this text would probably be just one sentence or something, like a quick quick last minute tip before they move on to the, to the next page. So we'd click and bring it down here and we'd click and bring this over there. Some, something like that, right? So that is that does it for the, the bonus page. So if you have any questions about putting together your PDFs in Canva, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. I read and reply to each one. And make sure you check out that 
description with the table of contents so you can go back and forth between what we've done in this video as well as some other tutorial videos that go much more in depth into designing and other styles of design whether you're making an ebook or an opt-in offer or an opt-in gift or you're doing course kind of like worksheets and blueprints there is a specific tutorial for each one of those links in the description so thank you so much for watching if you got some value out of this video go and hit that like button and then subscribe because over on the channel I'm documenting the entire process of what it takes to build a online business from scratch and of course making nice looking PDFs as quickly as possible is just one small piece of that bigger picture of being successful with your business. So I encourage you to join myself and other aspiring entrepreneurs on this crazy journey of entrepreneurship. So go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe, comment below if you have any questions. And as always, keep building the business you love. Take care.